Hi, this is Richard Lee from Cisco Japan. Today I would like to spend some time to do a demo of the RA Guard feature in the Cisco WLC 7.2 release. Now let's get started. In an IPv6 network, usually a router will be sending out the RA. However, it is also possible for a misconfigured clients, or even worse, a malicious IPv6 clients to send out RA and announce themselves as a router for the network. If the RA was configured with a higher priority, it can take precedence over the other proper IPv6 routers. If the malicious IPv6 clients send out too many RAs, it is also possible to overload the IP address table and the CPU of the other IPv6 client in the network. Now let's take a look at uh, what's going to happen when a malicious IPv6 client is sending out too many RA packets. We're now looking at a Windows 7 PC. You can see it only has one IPv6 address and the CPU load is very stable. Now let me start the attack. As you can see, I'm sending out the RA from my PC and all, all the RA will assign the prefix of 2001 to bad to the client. As a result of my attack, the CPU load of the client PC will be rising very quickly. Soon it will reach 100%. Also, if I do an IP config on the client PC, I'll get a huge number of uh, the IPv6 address. All the IPv6 address have the prefix of 2001 too bad, which is uh, provided by my RA from the PC. This can be considered as a security risk in a wireless LAN IPv6 network. Now let me start the attack again and see what's going to happen when I have the RA Guard feature enabled on a 7.2 release wireless LAN controller. We can see the CPU load on the client PC remains very stable and the malicious RA is not impacting my wireless LAN client. Now let's take a look at the controller. With RA Guard feature enabled on the controller and the AP, I can see they are dropping all the RA from the wireless LAN client. By doing this, they are preventing the IPv6 security risk uh, for the wireless LAN network. As a leading company of the network industry, Cisco is taking IPv6 very seriously. The RA Guard is just one of the features in the 7.2 release. There are also many other IPv6 related features in that release. To get a deeper understanding of the many other features, please refer to the URL below. Thanks for watching this video and thanks for choosing Cisco.